Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Oshomole versus Obaseki. See what Wike told Obar of Benin. The discussion they had. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time we're reaching you today, we want to say a very big thank you for your huge, massive and continuous support. God bless you. Truly, really, we appreciate you. Well, my people, we know that uh, Governor Wike has been chosen by PDP to be the campaign leader for uh, Governor Gordon Obaseki, who is now a PDP member. Uh, we know that Wike is a no-nonsense person as APC is trying to play dirty and getting the likes of the Kano State Governor Ganduje, uh, the Kogi, uh, the person of Bello, as well as some other people who we know, especially Imo State Governor, we know what happened. So if APC is bringing all these people in, does it mean that they want these characteristics to play out? We know that Ganduje is somebody who can take bribe. We know that, um, and we remember what happened in Kogi. Called on the Obar of Benin, a great leader of the Benin Kingdom, a great traditional leader worthy of emulation, and said, Sir, I will plead your indulgence to please look into the crisis between Adam Sushumole and Obaseki, two of your sons. Between the National Chairman and the All Progressive Congress of the All Progressive Congress, Adam Sushumole, and your son, Governor Godwin Obaseki. According to our sources, Daily Post Niger, Wike called on the Oba of Benin to look into the political crisis between the two leaders, sons of Edo State. The governor said, although that the monarch is not a politician, but he has a vital role to play in resolving crisis between his children. In his words, I want the monarch to call to call on these political leaders. The struggle in what is going on in Edo State, we need to resolve it. Although you are not a politician, Your Highness, it is important that you look into this issue as two of them are your sons. Please find a way to treat the issue. Wike further asked the South-South traditional rulers to form a united front to work in unity to promote the growth of the geopolitical zone. He said that the Obar of Benin and the other traditional leaders in the region should not put these political leaders in second class, but that they should work together as one. That is the way they can bring true promotion of development and unity. See them as your children. See them as the people you can give guidance and direction to. The governor urged leaders of the South-South to stop the condition where militants continue to become the traditional leaders, but that the leaders should take up their position and look into the governance as well, relating with the governance, the governors, so that the region can be properly and thoroughly developed. Having constant conversation and relationship between the government and the traditional leaders, we help foster proper development in the region. Governor Wike further called on the South South traditional leaders to work with the governors of the zone to map out areas that needs development and to be able to relate back to the people. In this way, we can make true 
development in the area of the south south zone the south south belongs to every one of us if we don't work for it if we don't do what we are supposed to do we are just putting ourselves at risk and are not promoting what should move us forward well my people this is the discussion governor wiki had just january this year with the Obar of benin with, with regards to governor gordon obaseki the uh, and um, the then uh, uh those states um, um uh, the then apc national leader talking about the person of um Adam Soshomole, he's no longer the APC chairman, but in January this year, Wike called on the Obar of Benin and said, Sir, I know you are not a politician. I know you are not a politician. Clearly, really, uh, the, the Obar of Benin has stated, even in his very last statement, with regards to the political issues going on in Edo State, he said he's not a politician. He's not, but he's looking forward to his son or a daughter in Edo State, the leadership that will come on board to be able to give proper direction to the people. One of such things is that the person should be somebody who wants the, the region to move forward. And what would be some of his duties and what will he do? Somebody who will be able to create more uh, job opportunities, employment, to be able to put food on the table of the mouths of the people of Edo State. What does that do? Invariably, that leads to further development in the sense that when people are thoroughly and completely engaged, they are working and there is job for them to wake up to, to go in the morning, the thought of crime reduces drastically. It's when a man is jobless and have nowhere to turn to and have no food, nothing on the table and is looking at his family, looking at his children. A young man of 28, 30 who should be thinking about getting married and settling down. But there is even no job in the first place to save. How can he be thinking of such? And what's the next thing? If an opportunity comes for crime, it, is a, it, is, it becomes an offer to consider. Although as good as it is not, it is something that should be worked upon. I mean, this is what we are talking about, that indeed, if Nigeria is to move forward, there needs to be proper development. This development has to continue. This development has to continue all the way in the sense that uh, it starts from as little as steady supply of electricity. You know, steady supply of electricity will give some people the opportunity to be able to do their job without 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 steady supply of electricity will give people the opportunity to be able to do their job you know without asking for uh any not nothing more it will give them the opportunity to be able to you know get be self-employed that's where we are driving at to be able to be self-employed and when they are self-employed um you know uh, that, that that helps if a man is self-employed he's not going to be looking forward to getting a white collar job just by setting up you know his own workshop Probably he needs light to be able to continue with all this uh, development. He, he just needs at least light. The lot us go to the issue of transportation. If there are no good transportation, how can the people effectively move from one place to the other? Even those engaged them, that engage themselves in the transport industry, that they that they, they, they are transporters, they need they need to be able to you know have good connection, road connection, uh, flexibility, and this will help facilitate development. This will help the state to move forward. So the other opinion is saying that we need sons and daughters so we help the state to develop. We don't just want anybody. We want somebody. And again, the other opinion also spoke about shunning godfatherism. That is not a style. It is not what they want in a dose state. It is not what a dose state is about. So Governor Wike is saying, we know that you are not a politician, but we want you to use the influence of your position as the great over of Benin to be able to resolve this issue. Yes, we know that Adam Sushumole is no longer the chairman of APC. We know. But this issue still needs to be resolved. Look at what is going on. APC has put forward a 49-man committee. And guess what? They are putting the dirty game players. You name it. It's up to you to pick out who they are. Then PDP as well is not relenting. They picked one of the strongest candidates. The person of Wike, everybody knows in this country, Wike is a no-nonsense person. He says it as it is. Like it or yes, that is Wike for you. That is Wike for you. That's the person he is. Yes? So that's exactly what is going on. And don't forget, to you fo please follow us closely. Uh, we're going to be publishing the very next one. AP itself, AP, um, PDP itself has retaliated. APC has a 49-man committee. PDP has a 79-man committee. <laughs> Edo State, the battle is on. But what are we saying? It's not about the party. It's not about PDP or APC. It's about good governance. It's about bringing necessary development. I, I mean, it's about time. We've been an independent country now for how long? 
You name it, the figure is in your hand. But guess what? Up to this time, we don't have good road connectivity. The roads are in shambles. Not talking about employment. Our youth and hardworking young men, women, even those that went to school, you know, what is the job opportunity for them? These are the things we should be looking forward and looking about that can develop a nation, a people. Being, being developed, look at the educational system. Oh, don't even go to the health. Don't even go to the health sector. What are we talking about? If we are to grow, we need good governance. Anyway, my people, what do you think? Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.